All right, guys, just set up the Link Micro. Actually, had a green signal on it, which is really good for us. We don't really get a lot of green signals, which just means the signal's really, really good. Set up the trophy rock with some Lucky Buck and put some corn out. And just came into this area. It's a really cool area. It's got a really nice travel corridor between these two fields with a lot of mature oak trees and stuff that's no more than probably about 50 yards wide right here. So it's already a nice hot spot with this big kind of native grass field here, but I wanted to improve it just a little bit to make it that much sweeter for the deer to come in here. It's a really good property. Last year we had the dozer bucking on here and I know that he did not get taken. I saw him at the end of season um, multiple times without his antlers. And what I did today is I came in here and I did it the poor redneck way because that's pretty much all I could do. My tractor's in the shop right now, got the lawnmower and I worked about a quarter of an acre or just a slightly little bit bigger than that. Got in here, had to mow it a couple of times. And then once I got it all knocked down pretty good, then I start in the middle and work my way out and blow all that grass debris out so I can make sure when I come back in with the four wheeler and I do the spraying, I get that really good contact with that spray with the roundup on the grass to get a good kill. If you leave all that grass duff on top, it could block a lot of your spray. Kind of came back down here, you can tell there's a lot of briar bushes and stuff. This was a lot taller. It had not been hayed at all, and it took um, a lot more cutting to get it down. But it wasn't as thick as this briar patch right here, but it was pretty dang close, but it looks really, really nice. So a lot of the deer come from these. It's basically a big intersection point right back here where all these timber lines run into each other on these draws. They're either going to come up and walk this little timber connection between these two points, or now they're going to come in here and hopefully hit on this food plot. I'm going to come in uh, with killer food plots, brassica mix. So it's going to be a lot of brassicas might even mix in a little winter wheat and stuff and uh, have a pretty good little spot. I've actually got my deer stand. You can't even see it. So hidden right there yeah, up in that big old post oak tree right behind the top of that cedar right there it's pretty dang cool but looks really really good i think you know in probably uh hour hour and a half of solid hard work get back in here with the rtp and i'll break this up and plant it and we'll be good to go and this will probably be one of my favorite spots to sit uh for a big old buck especially if the the uh dozer buck's still around because he was five and a half plus last year and we'll see how big he is this year so if you guys enjoyed this little tip get out there do it Put your mind to anything, you can do it. Even if it's got to grab the lawnmower and uh, work down a food plot, you can make a food plot happen. So until next time, have a better than average day. Won't you take a little